In this video, you will understand the relationship between amplitude, power, and intensity. My name is Joe, and I help people understand ultrasound physics and pass the SPI exam. Amplitude, power, and intensity are proportionally related to each other. That means when one increases, the other two increase and when one decrease, the other two decrease. Power and intensity are proportionally related to the amplitude square and proportionally related equally to each other. That means if the amplitude increased by the factor of x, the intensity will increase by the factor of x square and the power will increase by the factor of x square. The amplitude increased by the factor of two the intensity will increase by the factor of 4 and the power will increase by the factor of 4. If the amplitude increases by the factor of 3, the intensity will increase by the factor of 9 and the power will increase by the factor of 9. Why 9? Because 3 squared is equal to 9. Now we'll see what will happen if the value decreased instead of increasing if the amplitude decreased by the factor of x the power and the intensity will decrease by the factor of x squared that means also if the amplitude decreases by the factor of 2 that means that the power and the intensity will decrease also by the factor of 4 and intensity will decrease by the factor of 4 If the amplitude decreased by the factor of 3, the power will decrease by the factor of 9 and intensity will decrease by the factor of 9. Decreasing the amplitude by the factor of 2, that means that the amplitude will halt. And decreasing the power and the intensity, that means that the value will quarter. Decreasing the amplitude by uh, uh, the factor of 3, that means that the amplitude will become one third of the original value. Decreasing the power and the intensity by the factor of 9, that means that the power and the intensity will become 1 over 9 of the original value. So in general, decreasing the amplitude by the factor of x, that means that the amplitude will become 1 over x of the original value. And the power and the intensity will become 1 over x squared of the original value. Let's get more examples. You can pause the video and try to get the right answer by yourself. Let's start. Example number one. If the power increased by the factor of 16, what will happen to the intensity and what will happen to the amplitude? Because the power and the intensity they always increase equally, so the intensity will increase by the factor of 16 as well. And because power and intensity are proportionally related to the amplitude squared, so the amplitude will increase by the factor of 4. Why 4? Because 4 squared is equal to 16. Because 4 times 4 equal to 16. Let's go to example number 2. If the amplitude was 27 pascals, and power was 27 watts and intensity was 45 watts per centimeter square and increase to 5 watt per centimeter square what is the final value for the amplitude and what is the final value for the power the intensity decreased by uh, from 45 to 5 
So we need to divide the 45 over 5 so we can know what factor of decreasing having to the intensity. So 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. So the intensity decreased by the factor of 9 and because intensity and power are proportionally related equally, so the power also will decrease by the factor of 9. So to, need, to know the final value for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the power, we need to divide 27 over 9, it will be equal to 3. So the final value for the power will be 3 watts. What about the amplitude? Because the power and the intensity decrease by the factor of 9, and we know that the intensity and power are proportionally related to the amplitude squared, so the amplitude will decrease by the factor of 3. So to get the final value for the amplitude, we divide 27 over 3, so the final value for the amplitude will equal to 23 uh, 27 uh, over 3 equal to uh, 20 equal to 9. So the final value for the amplitude will be 9 pascals. For example number 3, this will be your quiz. I, uh, you will get the right answer by yourself. If the amplitude was 1 million pascals, and intensity was 3 watt per centimeter square. And power was 2 million watts and increased to 32 million watts. We need to know the final value for the amplitude, the final value for the intensity, and we need to know the decibel for the amplitude, the decibel for the intensity, the decibel for the power. To get the right answer by yourself and write it in the comments below and I will uh, answer this example on the next video um, and also the next video will be about the decibel so if you want to understand the decibel you need to watch the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.